Yeah, from the point of view of the degree of monetary accommodation, there's no reason whatsoever for the BOJ to act now in terms of the tightening of monetary policy. But as I mentioned earlier, the ILCAP control is a little bit cumbersome and also a, a communication difficulty is a very inherent in that policy framework. So I think it is reasonable for the BOJ to think about a tweaking yield curve control from that point of view. But given the communication from Mr. Kuroda for the last uh, one or two months, I think the current BOJ doesn't have any uh, enthusiastic uh, motivation for uh, to, to, to uh, make any changes in the YCC. But I think the Mr. Kuroda will keep a uh, policy as it is and actually uh, hand the baton to Mr. Weather uh, as it is. Hmm. Mama san how... Uh, critical is the, uh, you touched on this, the Shunto spring wage negotiations and uh, is there any likelihood uh, that we could see a significant increase in wages and to what extent could that uh, trigger uh, a virtuous uh, cycle in inflation? Well, that is a very good question because that is exactly where the BOJ is closely watching at. And the, actually, monthly wages are also are showing some signs of the gaining momentum in terms of the higher wage growth. Uh, but Shunto is very symbolically important, and also that could determine the trend of the wage growth for the uh, next 12 months or so. And now people, uh, particularly economists, are uh, generally expecting a slightly less uh, less than 3% increase in Shinto headline inflation, uh, wage inflation, and that yeah. can be compared with 0.2% last year. So if it, it, it turns out to be around 3%, that would be yeah. significant uh, improvement. But still, 3% okay. is far short of the dynamics BOJ wants to have. So I don't yeah. think uh, that uh, would be... Uh, Momosan, if I can just interrupt you very quickly, uh, Japanese GDP numbers are just breaking over the wires. And uh, for viewers, uh, these are numbers that we've been watching for, for some time and are waiting for for some time. Uh, October to December quarter, Q4, their uh, uh, annualized GDP coming in at plus 0.6%. So that's a pretty sharp miss when economists and analysts pulled by Reuters are looking for plus 2%. So 0.6% compared to 2% that had been expected. On a non-quarter basis, plus 0.2%, also a sharp miss uh, from the 0.5% uh, that had been expected. And uh, we're getting some of the breakdown as well. Uh, private consumption, okay, that came in as expected, uh, plus half a percent. Uh, this is... The shocker, though, CapEx, minus half a percent, this is on quarter, versus minus 0.2 percent that had been uh, expected. And uh, that CapEx, uh, read is the first decline in three quarters and the biggest decline in five uh, quarters. Momosan, uh, numbers like this, are they going to make mm -hmm. it harder for somebody like, let's say, it ends up being Katsuo Ueda, to exit extraordinary loose monetary policy? Yeah, in any case, I think there's, this is not the time for even think about the uh, exit from the ultra loose monetary policy in the first place. And uh, as for the, this particular date of GDP for the first quarter just came out, well, I didn't look at the detail, but as, the, as according to your information about the number, I think the chapter uh, CapEx actually is uh, notoriously fluctuating every quarter. And also, this is just first estimate of CapEx indicator. And the, uh, it is very common that second estimate uh, for, uh, that will be uh, coming out one month from now uh, will sometimes particularly uh, significantly change in the first estimate. So we still have to see the second estimate that will be coming one month from now. And also, generally speaking, manufacturing sector in the fourth quarter has been weak. We knew that from uh, the uh, international, I'm, so, I'm sorry, industrial production or some other data, because the export is now declining. And also, the uh, semiconductor and electronic devices sector are suffering from the big adjustment in inventory. So I think it's reasonable to have a relatively weak number in terms of the uh, any goods sector uh, this quarter. But the good, good part of the whole data is that uh, service yes. industry, uh, particularly consumer consumption, uh, appears yes. to be holding up. 